get that drone up this entire time we've been here. So I'm glad I did. There was like some strong interference. I wasn't able to get as much as I wanted, but at least we were able to see the Sea of Galilee. Uh, we are actually leaving this spot this morning. It's like 6 a.m. and we are gonna do some more sites in the area then head to Jerusalem to a new hotel. So I just got done packing everything up and uh, breakfast is about to start, which I'm so excited for. Like I woke up with my stomach just like growling um, because dinner's really like, earlier than I usually eat and I've been staying up later. But I'm really excited for today because we're going to the Dead Sea and then also Jerusalem tonight. So it's gonna be a fun day. Anyway, really hungry, let's get some food. I'm really bummed because they don't have the chocolate croissants this morning or that flatbread garlic butter bread thing. <laughs> But they have pasta though. <laughs> what bread do I want? It's like orange inside. It's interesting. So this is where Jesus was baptized, right here. This is why we say, this is, this is why Pastor Wow. Crazy. A sign right there where it says water level that's actually if they opened the dam where the water would be um so in jesus time this was like way you know way bigger and obviously the water was up there so um because of the dam it's you know it's just kind of trickling down um but that's crazy to think about though this is where jesus was baptized right over here so what's crazy is that right over here that's jordan this is the border to jordan and this is why you have israeli soldiers guarding because it's the border and they have a couple nice pieces look at those guns Dang. so i just got my picture taken with those uh israeli soldiers it's pretty awesome i'll show that to you now <laughs> uh also these little yellow signs i don't know if you can see them um they'll say landmines <laughs> okay it's caution landmines uh crazy So we're about to uh, ride up a cable car to visit Herod's Western Palace. Yes, Herod. Yeah. Pretty cool. Square. I have the great the bill to build the guys in his kingdom eight fortresses. These paintings right here are two thousand years old. Also, this black line that you see right here, that's throughout this whole palace. Um, everything below is original. Everything that's above it has been been rebuilt. So this was the commandant's headquarters. Crazy. Look at that. So here's the model of it. 
right here. And we gonna end up here at the palace of Holy Cross. Yeah. So this is the this the warehouse, the storage. Amazon's first warehouse. <laughs> Dad joke. You can see the line. Crazy. All the storeroom complex. Just imagine like hundreds of jars of food and whatnot just stored in these little complexes. It's fascinating. So the question is, is how did someone survive here in this heat and the Dead Sea is just right over there? Um, but it was these storerooms and they'd organize them in different like ways. So one of these rooms would be for like oil, another room would be for food and it's, it's incredible how big these storerooms are. It's insane. Like look how big that is. That's just one of them. So Harry the Great built this fortress kind of as like almost like a, you know, he was a super paranoid guy and uh, used as like a kind of a last resort, if that makes sense, to, to hide in. But he never ended up residing here, but he built this for his family and everything and people would keep it up just in case he would come. But amazing. This is the upper terrace. So now we are in the actual palace. But we're on the upper terrace, but those are the other terraces down there. So if Herod the Great came, he wouldn't, he wouldn't, this is not where he would live. He, this is where he would just kind of come up and for a glass of wine, kind of hang out, um, check out the view, just pleasure. So these are the terraces right here, and this is where we're at, the upper terrace. We are now going to go ahead and check out the bathhouse. Excuse me, the large bathhouse. Oh, look at that. That's pretty That's cool. That's pretty nice, huh? Walk, walk in. Walk in bath? Mm -hmm. I, don't even, I don't even have one of those. <laughs> this just reminds me of Indiana Jones. This is one big place. It's huge. Here's another bath. Dang, that's deep. Just hang out in there after a hot day. Whew. This is a hot sauna, so they would have a fire right there. And they would heat up all these little pillars. And there were servants that would pour water in and produce the steam. And then the steam and the water would congregate all up here. And then they would drop back down and kind of recycle the hot water steam. It's incredible. And again, everything below is original. So a lot of this was actually still, still here. And then these right here are the cisterns. Well, so how they would fill these up is um, the rooftops, number one. Uh, when it rained, they would be able to fill these up, but also um, they made like uh, aqueducts um, in these valleys. Uh, and so when it rained and like um, they collect the, the rain from the aqueducts and bring it back down here and they would have um, workers come down here fill up the water and pots and whatnot throw on the donkey and uh, then fill these guys up a lot of work but water is life you know because when it rained like in Jerusalem and all that kind of stuff over there the water would actually travel over those mountains. The Roman soldiers built this ramp to come up with their batting ram. Yeah, the squares are where the- That was just a cliff and they made that. The Romans encamped down there. Oh. So imagine, see that big And all those little squares are Roman encampments. They were inside that space. Yeah. Wow. So you're looking down every day and seeing Yeah, seriously. Like, oh my gosh, they're making more progress on that. That ramp. The ramp's getting bigger. The ramp's getting bigger. What is that over there? Is that a battering ram? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Curious, has anyone seen the movie Masada? I haven't seen it yet, but I'm definitely gonna see that when I get back. So here's the breaching point with that battering ram. That ramp that the soldiers made. So right here is the breaching point. My dad decided to walk down. He's been here before, but I wanted to see the rest of it, but he's, he's way down there. You can see him. 
He's right there. And another guy. <laughs> so we just got down from Herod's Palace and oh my gosh, that was amazing. Crazy stuff. I don't even have words with this kind of stuff. It just, it just blows me away. No comment. So I believe for lunch we're gonna be having some lamb, which I'm so excited for. It's the first time I've had lamb this trip, and uh, I'm ready for it. This place is amazing. Got some lamb, yeah. some chicken, fries, coleslaw. Okay, lunch was fantastic. That lamb was amazing. Now we're going to another cable car up to the Mount of Temptation. Look at this place, this is so cool. Got some birds in here. Some rabbits. So fun fact, Jericho is the lowest city in the entire world. Crazy. Crazy stuff. All right, guys, we made it to the Dead Sea, and the beach is just right down there. So let's uh, let's go check it out. Well, guys, we made it to the Dead Sea, full on floats. Full on floats. Here's the way you do it. What's up, guys? Hanging yeah. <laughs> out. Dead sea floating my life away. It's actually really crazy. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm like, there's, you know, you, like you, like you should be on a float, but you're not. Like you're just, I'm on a noodle or a float. You're just hanging out. All right, guys, so the mud is supposed to be good for your face, so lathered it on. The water's like silky, which is crazy. Um, it's a weird texture. Obviously, it's extremely salty. Obviously, and then um, it's just weird, like how 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 you float. And then trying to get up is so weird because it's it's wanting you to float, not stand up. I don't know. It's super weird, but really cool experience for sure. All right, I'll take some showers to get this mud off my face. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm all clean. All the mud's washed off, and I feel super refreshed. And, I mean, they, they say there's, you know, obviously a ton of minerals and everything in the Dead Sea. And so, they tell you to put mud on your skin. And, man, it feels like it's a good face wash, you know. But, uh, they also have a lot of, uh, different lotions and stuff you can buy. Um, a lot of stuff that is made from the Dead Sea as far as lotion goes and facial rub and body wash and all that kind of stuff. So, we're gonna go check some of that stuff out, but this was definitely an experience. I just so can't get over how like you just float. There's no inner tube, you know. Pops right up. It's kind of weird. Like you can visualize it, but actually sitting down, you know, trying to get yourself to float is weird because it's just like you lose control. Like your the water just like whoop, pops your body right up. It's pretty incredible. Also. It takes forever to get down to the beach. <laughs> There's so many stairs. There's all kinds of different bathing salts and all that kind of fun stuff. Genuine Dead Sea Black Mud. I got that for free. <laughs> Check those guys out, it's a camel. <laughs> Hola, Hola. What is that? Is? Hola, 
Mayo Jericho. Yes, you're welcome to Jericho. Hey. Welcome to Jericho. Welcome to Jericho. It's all these different kinds of dates, which are actually, actually really good. This is a chocolate covered date, and it's fantastic. Okay, I'm definitely buying this. What's up, everybody? Well, we made it to Jerusalem, and I just took a shower because I was still a little bit wet from the, from the Dead Sea. I have to say, though, my skin, my, my face is so soft. Like, that was crazy. Anyway, this is our room. I'll show you really fast. It's uh, the smallest out of all of them, but here it is. <laughs> just a basic room. Got a couple beds, a desk. Um, this is our view right here. Boom. Pretty cool view. The bathroom is, I took a shower in here, so that's why it's all steamy. But the bathroom is extremely, extremely small. Like this is not code. <laughs> like I could barely, number one <laughs> in the States, this is not to code. This frame of the door, you can barely walk through it. And then that's not code. <laughs> uh, but anyway, there it is. Now it's dinner time. So new dining room. Restaurant area, check it out. This all smells really good. More hummus. Dang, look at that spread. Got all the breads over here. Got some pasta. Dinner and now we're uh, downtown Jerusalem, checking out some stuff, some shops, and uh, just kind of exploring for a little bit. American Eagle Outfitters, Levi's, Nike. It's like the states over here. So I just found this little cool terrace out here. This is really cool. Nice little terrace out here. This hotel's pretty cool because they keep on just finding like little rooms and <laughs> little sections of it. But yeah, pretty cool view. Anyway, obviously back at the hotel, I'm gonna find a little spot in the lobby. Maybe get a cup of coffee, some water, and uh, do some editing. Oh well, guys, I'm just about to get back in my room. And so tired, I actually fell asleep on the couch in the lobby. So I am going to hit the sack. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Lots of fun, it's a crazy day, lots going on. Anyways, looking forward to tomorrow, but I will talk to you real soon. Love you guys. Okay.